This is my uncle's SD card from his digital camera. Recently when he was trying to transfer over pictures, he accidentally deleted the photos, so he asked me to recover the photos for him. This happens quite often with older relatives, so I'm just going to show you how I recover the photos using a free software called PhotoRec, which you can download through test disk application. Here's the URL, which I'll include in the description of my video. So, the very first step is to download the app application over here. After you download, it's a zip file. I just copied the zip file to the desktop over here. I mean, I unzipped it to the desktop. And unzipping it, you'll find there is a photo rec win. That's the file I'll be running. So I'm going to take this SD card, put it into my laptop over here. Recognizes the removal drive as F drive, so that's the thing that I'll use drive to recover. So they have this executable photo rec executable. I'm run it. I'm running Windows Vista, so it's asking me for permissions. So I get to here. So the one way to tell it's the drive you want is by the size. My external drive is only, I mean the SD card is only 4 gigabytes, so it's the second one. First one's usually your internal hard drive. So just use the arrow keys to navigate up and down. So I'm going to select the bottom one over here, press enter. And then it shows that. Depending on if your uh, partition got damaged, you can repair it a different way. But right now, uh, since the partition wasn't damaged, I'm just going to select the second one, FAT32, which I want to recover because things were delayed from there. And then it goes recover which file system is probably fat, so I'm gonna choose the second one again. And this part is where uh, if you deleted files, they say you should use the free version versus the whole partition. It's explained in the instructions for photo rec but uh, so I'm gonna choose free and now the last part is I need to choose a destination where I want to put this uh, so I'm gonna go create a direct folder over here called uh, recovered Again, I apologize. I'd rather do this through Cam Studio. My microphone isn't working, so so this shows you what directory you're at, which is on my desktop, the test disk folder that I copied. So the double dots will take me back a directory. Now I can look for the recovered folder over here. Press enter, and then once you're done, just press the C button, C key over here, and it'll use this as the correct destination. And 
So that's it. It's going to start recovering pictures into that folder called Recover that I created on desktop. Uh, this isn't the most elegant application. You can see it here. It tells you how much time is left to complete, uh, how many files were recovered. <coughs> there, you can get paid apps where it'll let you choose which files you want to recover. Or, but this is one that I found that works, and I don't really want to think about anything. You'll have to rename image files as well as you'll need to reorganize all the pictures that you have in a specific folder. So this can be a time consuming app, but I mean, if you lost your photos, at least you can get them back. And so I'm going to let this run for an hour or so. Hopefully it'll be done, and then I'll come back and give these pictures to my uncle. So it's now 13 minutes since I started the process. Over here it says 13 minutes, if you can see. And you can see it's recovered 570 images. As I mentioned, when it saves it, I'm going to go ahead. It doesn't do an elegant job of saving those pictures. It starts creating these directories, recruit directory one, recruit directory two, and puts all these files here into one directory. And each directory will count, have about a thousand pictures or items. That's it. It keeps on recovering it, and then I wish it had could tell you when the images were taken but it doesn't have that information so like I said it's just a simple image recovery program and so it's probably take an hour or so maybe longer I'm not sure it's only four gigabytes I'm trying to restore it took about 30 minutes to recover all the files and so it tells you even where the directory was saved over here and then that's it. Surprise! So it's for four gigabytes, it took thirty minutes.